Hi guys, good morning to all. This is Mike Padua and we are back to our latest uh, update. This is our latest weather analysis for this Wednesday to Friday, November 23, 25, 2022. And this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's proceed with our update. Here's the latest graph set that we created early this morning. We still have the uh, strong easterlies affecting uh, the eastern sections of the country, penetrating across Metro Manila, Calabarzon, uh, Mindoro, Marindoque, Romblon, and northern Panay. And the uh, low pressure 98W uh, has weakened in the surface trough, but still have some sort of circulation moving towards the Celebes Sea south of Mindanao within the next couple of days. And, it, and its trough is expected to bring rain showers and thunderstorms across these areas and uh, possible uh, lightning strikes and uh, thunderstorm activity as well as uh, flash floods and landslides are likely when we have uh, severe thunderstorms moving across these areas. Uh, elsewhere across the western Pacific, we have another low pressure system. This is uh, 99W, a new one that developed yesterday. But this system is also expected to dissipate as it approaches the eastern sections of Visayas or Mindanao within the next uh, uh, four to five days. So the probability of this system is uh, at low probability at uh, 35 uh, or less than 35 percent. And uh, so far we have two frontal systems roaming across the uh, northern portions of the western Pacific to the east of Japan and another one here approaching western Japan. And the uh, cold front is expected to uh, bring uh, some cooler weather across uh, Taiwan and the southern islands of Japan which includes the Ryukyus where Okinawa is located. And uh, elsewhere, the rest of the Philippine Islands will remain uh, fair with uh, some chances of isolated rain showers and thunderstorms as we are still in the uh, La Nina climate. And if we take a look now at the uh, latest uh, uh, fast animation from the University of Wisconsin, you can clearly see here some developing thunderstorms generated by the strong easterlies affecting the eastern sections of Luzon from Cagayan Valley and uh, uh, Quezon or Northern Quezon yeah, as you can see here from the latest 6 hour satellite loop from Winnie.com from the Umetsat satellite server you can clearly see here some large area of large cluster of thunderstorms developing across the uh, seaboards or coastal waters of uh, uh, Eastern Luzon from Northern from eastern Cagayan, eastern Isabela, Aurora, down to northern Quezon. And some of these thunderstorms are penetrating across the central portions of Luzon, from Nueva Vizcaya, Nueva Ecija, and later into uh, Tarlac, uh, Pampanga, Zambales, and uh, also across Pangasinan. So expect some rains uh, within the next few hours. And also here, across uh, portions of uh, Metro Manila. Uh, there are some uh, thunderstorms that will be expected, particularly the northern sections of Manila, which includes Valenzuela and other areas like Bulacan. And here over the Bicol region, there are some patchy thunderstorms developing as of this time over the central or southern portions of Camarines Sur which is expected to bring some passing showers and thunderstorms but so far it's only a quick one and uh, good weather will again prevail and also here in various sections of eastern Visayas and eastern Mindanao and if we take a look at the rainfall accumulation for the next three days until Saturday we expect uh, more rainfall activity to prevail across eastern Visayas, eastern Mindanao, and Sulu Archipelago, including Palawan, because of the uh, uh, st uh, stronger than average easterly wind flow, and also an approaching uh, surface trough to the south of uh, Mindanao, which could bring more rainfall within the next uh, three days. And if you take a look at the pressure and wind forecast for the next three days, uh, here's the uh, surface trough with a little bit of a circulation moving across the level C. And uh, by uh, uh, tomorrow, Thursday, 
we expect uh, that uh, circulation to dissipate. And here's 99W also uh, dissipating a low pressure system as it moves across the western Micronesia. And we have here the uh, continuing uh, easterly uh, trade winds or easterly surface wind flow that is uh, being enhanced by the uh, prevailing La Nina climate. And uh, on Friday, the same wind condition will be expected. Here's the uh, LPA 99W struggling to organize. And on Saturday, uh, November 26, that uh, low pressure system is expected to uh, move to the northwest of Yap, approaching the Philippine area of responsibility, but this is not expected to develop into a tropical cyclone. So it will remain just on the LPA or it will uh, dissipate upon crossing or upon traversing the uh, Philippine Sea by uh, the weekend okay and uh we have another uh, frontal system developing here to the west or i mean east of uh, okinawa and uh, if we move forward to check on the potential storm for next week we have some good news to tell uh, the uh, various uh, reliable models are now uh, weakening this system or uh, just a low pressure or maybe a tropical depression approaching Mindanao by uh, November 29 to December 2 based on these uh, computer models. So first we are going to show to you the latest from the American model. Here we go. This is the latest one. Uh, November 28. It's going to be a low pressure system on November 29, November 30. It could become a tropical depression. December 1, it could become a very small or midget tropical storm approaching the uh, coastal waters of uh, Davao region or over the coastal waters of Jensen. So it's a low latitude system that we are going to observe, but this is only under American model. Uh, we all know that the American model or GFS, Global Forecasting System, is quite aggressive when it comes to developing uh, low pressure systems. And on December 1, we have uh, finally a surge of the northeast monsoon that could bring some cooler weather across uh, Batanes and Babuyan Cobo Islands and extreme northern Luzon. And some northeasterly wind flow that could bring slightly cooler conditions across the Bicol region and the Visayas come December 1st. And on December 2, that uh, uh, tropical storm by the GFS is expected to weaken into a tropical depression or even a low pressure system as it crosses the offshore areas of Bangsamoro that includes uh, Holo Sulu and Basilan. So uh, that is the forecast for December 1 or 2, but still that's around uh, uh, 8 to 9 days from now, so the probability remains at low uh, percentage, okay, around 20 down to 0 percent. Now if you take a look on the European model, which is much uh, better, which is a much better model when it comes to long-range forecast, here we go. Monday, November 28th, a low pressure system over to the south of Guam, still near the equator. November 29th, Tuesday, it will remain as a low pressure system moving to the south of Yap and south of Palau, entering the Philippine Air Responsibility at a low latitude of 5 or 6 degrees. And on Wednesday, November 30, it will just be a uh, remnant low or a shallow low pressure area moving across Celebrity Sea, like the the first one that is already passing south of Mindanao as of this time. And on December 1, that uh, shallow LPA will be uh, gone, okay? It's just a part of the uh, easterly winds. But the northeast monsoon will uh, still be there uh, on December 1 bring some cooler conditions across Batanes and Baboyan Group and some northeasterly winds across the uh, eastern sections of Luzon including Bicol and Visayas on, November, on December 1 and December 2 same northeasterly wind flow and here we go that's the uh, LPA 
that is expected to weaken over the south of Mindanao but will reorganize to the south of Vietnam moving towards the Gulf of Thailand. So this is a common situation when we have a uh, moderate or strong La Nina, most of the uh, tropical cyclones develops to the west of the Philippines or west of Borneo or south of Vietnam into Thailand Gulf or Gulf of Thailand. So that's the situation that we are giving you right now. It's a good news for all Filipinos as of this time. So uh, we will uh, be giving you the latest again on this uh, low pressure systems come Friday when we return. But before we leave you, here's the latest global Topics Hazards Outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, issued every Wednesday. So this is valid for the next two to three weeks. And for week two, valid November 30 to December 6, the Philippine Islands, uh, particularly over the West Philippine Sea and uh, the East Philippine Sea, is under a uh, 20% or below probability of a uh, tropical cyclone formation so it's uh, less than 20 or 20 percent so we are not worried about this uh, system and uh, based on what we see on the latest model it's dissipating as it passes to the south of Mindanao see more than 20 percent okay so we are going to observe this particularly this weekend if that low pressure system will again intensify but let's hope and pray it will remain that way and since it's uh, already uh, already two runs since yesterday that the uh, potential storm is no longer expected to intensify. Even the American model is weakening it. Now on week 3, valid uh, December 7 to 13, again the Philippine Islands will be under is more than 65 or to more than 80% probability of above average rainfall. And again the culprit is the La Nina and La Nina tends to increase or intensify the easterlies which will bring more rainfall across the country and we expect that uh, since it's uh, the La Nina right now is at uh, moderate levels or maybe it could become at uh, a strong level so we don't know we are going to observe this by next month if the La Nina increased more but it's uh, bringing some uh, rainfall across the country. So on week three, we have a 60 to 80 or more than 80 percent rainfall above average rainfall, uh, December 7 to 13. But uh, let's hope there's no tropical cyclone formation. Okay, because the uh, TC formation is only valid for up to two weeks. After that, the uncertainty remains high. But when it comes to the rainfall and uh, dry conditions, the wet and dry conditions, we can see here that December 7 to 13 is a wet conditions across the Philippine Islands, particularly over central Luzon, Mindoro, Visayas, Bicol region, and Mindanao. So always bring your umbrella, your rain gear, uh, because every now and then there are raindrops falling on our heads. Okay, so that's it. That's the latest for this Wednesday and we will return on Friday to give you more updates on the weather. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Pado reporting. Stay safe always, be hashtag weatherizer and thank you so much for watching our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Mr. Typhoon TV or youtube.com slash Mr. Typhoon or at our Facebook page facebook.com slash Mr. Typhoon or Mr. Typhoon.com. And also don't forget to click on the notification bell for the latest information of our weather. Again, have a great day and stay safe always.